The most requested jet by far, for some unknown reason to me, has been the 162. I've been spending some time over the past couple weeks getting used to it, upgrading it, really trying to dive into its flight model and how it performs in the game, and I'll get into that my opinion of that later on. Right now we have some Americans to deal with down here. You can see the red tracers still in the sky as so they're hunting bots and other things. And there is P-80. There's another F-80 over there. It's Big Brother. And there's an F-84 running around here somewhere that just killed something. So I'm going to make a run at this P-80. He's a little bit slower than the F-80 and I might have a chance to get a shot at him. Let's see if I can get an angle here. He's turning into me, which is a problem. The HE-162's maneuverability comes into question. At shots like this, I got a hit, but no crit. Here comes the F-80. And more trouble to my right. Here comes another P-80. Okay, I'm going to turn towards the P-80. Let's hope that this F-80 keeps flying above me. He's going to pass. Excellent. And there's a freaking hurricane down to my left. He just, he must be very lost. This guy is diving on me. Good news is this guy is pretty hard to hit. He just kind of overshot me, but he's going to come back up. So let's do a split S. Oh my god, there's a hurricane. This is getting a little crazy. And let's just dive away. I don't like this. I don't want to get shot down by a prop. That's not a great way to start the round. One redeeming factor to the HE 162 is dive speed. It actually dives pretty well for a little while. You get up some speed. That P-80 will close on me. So I'm going to try and wait for him to get closer. And do another defensive maneuver and see if I can get him to bleed some more energy. I'm going to do a little bit of like a split S maneuver. I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to hit the ground if I keep this maneuver. So let's... There we go. Come on, full power. Get out of this. Excellent. We have another P-80 coming straight at us. This is going as possible well as I can imagine. Dodge him. The PD that was originally on me, I think, just hit a HO229 back there. Okay. This guy is. What the hell is he doing? He's trying to do some type of suicidal zoom climb. And the salamander does bite. Roll back down. What do we got? F84. Chasing that 262. There's a hurricane. I really don't want to deal with that prop. I think that's a cannon hurricane, too, if I saw right. And he just flew into the base, so never mind. Hurricane's out of here. Well, let's try to assist the 262 from the F 84. Another P 80. American jets are just out in force today. This plane typically does not get matchmake against this many other jets. Get a shot here. I'm, that's too far behind. Let's roll over. It does maneuver fairly well enough against other jets when they... Come on, here we go. And... There's a crit. There's another kill. Okay, so we got him off him. Unfortunately, I couldn't save the 262 in time. F-80 is heading straight at me. Is he going to dive? get low. Let's get a little bit faster. I'm actually going to fly off to the side here and try to build up some more speed and a little bit of altitude so I can at least face him the way I want to face him. One P-80 just crashed so this is quickly ending up here All right, let's roll back towards this F-80 he looks like he's diving on that 262 got my guns facing him what's this maneuver I'm probably gonna die pick up some more airspeed nope he's gonna climb back up This guy doesn't want to go on the surface and turn fight like his friends did. He's actually going to climb all the way back up and use some energy fighting tactics. 
So we pick up some energy and I'll try to attack him if he dives. Ooh, he just clocked that guy. And that's the one big problem when you fly the 162 is that you kind of just watch everything pass you by. So this aircraft used to be something that people enjoyed to fly a lot in War Thunder because it was performing a lot better. I flew it a few times back in the day. I'm not an expert on its prior flight model to its current flight model. I will say though that it isn't a jet when I fly it that gets me excited. And I can understand why people don't want to fly it right now. It's because it is difficult. Usually when I first start flying something new, I try to find the advantage. Does it turn well? Does it? Does Is it fast? Does it energy fight well? Is it its armament? And I have to rate the uh, 162 here, unfortunately, at like average or below average for everything. The armament, you just have the two cannons with limited ammo. And you can do a lot of damage with those two cannons in the right circumstances. But it doesn't leave room for a lot of inaccuracy. Zoom climb here. The other problem I have with the aircraft that suffer from a lot is the rate of climb. And in some maps like Sicily, it'll actually overheat at low altitudes. Depending on the map, you can't run the engine. You can't run the turbine at full power. Sometimes you have to run it back at like 89% or so on at low altitude because the engine will actually overheat. So that's kind of a limiting factor. And then there's the whole problem of top speed. When you get mash mates into games with F-84s, F-80s, and things like that, you have no chance in hell at ever matching them. So if there's a pilot on the other team like that F-80, as you just saw, who knows what he's doing, he'll just fly off and never look back at you. Because he can. And that's what will happen. So you have a little bit of a matchmaking issue, you could say. It has a little bit of performance issue. I'm not going to say an HE-162 is underperforming or overperforming compared to its real-life counterpart. I'm not a 1944-1945 German jet expert. I won't make any claims like that. But the jet, it's good enough. It, it's not something I'll say, hey, you should fly this jet. You should learn this jet. It's fun, but I did enjoy the challenge. I broke even pretty much with my KDR. The stock grind was absolutely horrific at first, but once the plane gets fully upgraded, she can bite back. And the F-80 is heading towards me. Let's see. But I'll say there's other things to fly. I think the 229 and 262 are much better jets if you're first starting out with the German jet tree to fly those first. I'm going to take a shot at him with this head on. I'm going to try to roll the way. Oh, he got a hit on me. Got a few more hits on me. But it looks like the 229 was able to catch him from behind. He is on fire. Unfortunately, with the 162, I find myself taking a lot more head ons than I kind of like to. And that's simply due to the an ability to chase things down. Let's go on. Actually, he got my elevator, it looks like. You can see it there in the bottom left on the damage model, and I'm not dead. And also, he hasn't died yet either, and the tickets are kind down. It's kind of bizarre. That wraps it up for this, and if you have any questions on the 162 or have anything you want to discuss, feel free to ask. I've taken this out, I've flown it, and like I said, there's, there's much better options at the moment to fly for jets. If you want a challenge, this is your challenge.